The following presentation is brought to you by Discovery Education, leading the world of digital and video learning. Discovery Education, connect to a world of learning. If you like helping animals and solving problems too, come and be mathematical and join the number crew. Join Fizz and Flo and Bradley and Ted and Mirabelle. And there's Baby Bunting who likes to help as well. So come and be mathematical and join the number crew. All aboard when you hear us call the number crew. On the SS Mathematical, some strange things are going on. Or well, actually, some things are going off. Oh, no! Ooh. Yes, strange things indeed. It's a place moving! <laughs> All right, calm down. I'm sure there's an explanation. Maybe, but explain why that bucket's moving. Or why Baby Bunting has got a magic carpet. What's happening? I think he said bugs. They're all over the place. We'd better collect them all up. And find out how many there are. Mm -hmm. You're a big number bug, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You are a big number bug, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Alright. They're rather cute, these number bugs, aren't they? Well, one doesn't do a lot, but he's very affectionate. Anyway, back on board the SS Mathematical, they've got a... Well, I don't know how many they've got, but they've got to count them all. One, two, oh dear, one. I keep losing count. Oh. I wish they'd all stay still. Oh no, it's all going wrong. Oh, come on, brothers, don't give up yet, mate. Mind you, when you've got a lot of things, it is hard to count them all, even if they stay still. There must be an easier way. Well, look. If we divide them into groups of ten, watch. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And another one, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. There, that's easier to count, isn't it? Two tens are twenty. And three left over, that's twenty-three. Hmm. Twenty-two. See? When you've got big numbers, divide them into groups of ten makes them much easier to count. There are lots of things about Far too many for you to count If it's all too much for you Here's a thing that you should do Just try grouping Yes, just try grouping It really is the best thing you can do It really is the best thing you can do so, if you've got a lot of things to count, I just try grouping, I just try grouping. Go on, tell Bradley how to do it. Grouping. We'll try grouping them into tens. Then never stay still long enough to get them into tens. And Baby Bunting keeps collecting them. Let's think a minute. If we could put ten in one place, then ten in another place, We'd know how many tens we'd got by how many places we'd build up. But what places are there that we could use? How about the cabins? OK, Mrs Kangaroo, a group of ten number bugs for you to look after. And that's how the number bugs were counted. In groups of ten. There are lots of things about Far too many for you to count 
If it's all too much for you, here's a thing that you should do. Just try grouping. Yes, just try grouping. It really is the best thing you can do. So there you go. Using the cabins makes it easier to see what's going on. There's cabins one to nine, and the first four cabins have got ten number bugs in each. Cabin number one has got ten number bugs in, so we'll put a ten underneath. There you go. One cabin, ten bugs, a group of ten. Cabin number two is full up as well, so that's two cabins full makes twenty number bugs so far, and cabins three and four have ten number bugs in each as well, so that's altogether thirty. That's forty number bugs, isn't it? You see, you count the cabins makes it easier to see how many tens you've got. Four cabins makes forty, with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven number bugs left over. That's forty-seven. Hang on, I thought there were a lot more number bugs than that. Baby Bunting, are you hiding in there with lots of number bugs? No. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> This is no good. We've got to check. There's exactly ten in each cabin. Bradley's right this time. And do you know a good way to check you've counted ten? Make a tally. Right, here come some bugs. So let's count them in and make a drawing called a tally like this. Watch. All right, there's one, two, three, four, and the fifth one goes across like that. There you go. Makes it easy to see you've counted five, doesn't it? Let's count five more. Ready? Oh, here they come. There's one, two, three. Come on, little fella. Four and five. There you go. Five and five makes ten. It doesn't matter what you count, what you're finding out about. Best keep track of what you've got. Or else you'll find you will get lost. So keep a tally, yes, keep a tally. Make four strokes down and then make one across. Okay, that's five and five makes ten in cabin number nine. Nine cabins with ten number bugs in each. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. One more group of ten would make a hundred. I've got nine bugs. There must be one more. Are you sure you haven't got one last number bug? He's sitting on one. That's nine, and one makes ten. And we already had ninety, so ten more makes a hundred. So it all lines up, doesn't it? Nine groups of ten number bugs makes ninety. Add ten more makes one hundred. <laughs> well, do you think you could count a hundred things by grouping them, or could you find a hundred different things to count in your school? Have a look around, see what you can find. See ya. Join Fizz and Flo and Bradley and Ted and Mirabelle, and there's Baby Bunting who likes to help as well. So come and be mathematical and join the number crew. All aboard when you hear us call the number crew. Needs